Hi, everybody. Thank you for making the time to do this for our first um, quarterly product showcase. We're going to be doing these sessions every 12 weeks from now on metronomically um, to bring you hot off the press or hot off the, uh, uh, the dev production line, the new features that we're bringing into the, into the platform. We're going to try and do that every 12 weeks and make sure that we're um, giving you structured communications around what we're up to so that you can both communicate with your colleagues internally and also know that when you're giving us feedback, um, there's a pretty good chance that it will be implemented within a quarter or at least you'll, you'll get some guidance as to what we're prioritizing over those features and um, be able to get a sense of when we might be able to get new features into that strict quarterly cadence. So uh, excited to take you through what we've been up to. So right, let's kick on. Now, I'm gonna spend most of this um, session talking to you about and showing you new features. But before we do that, I just wanna spend five minutes um, reminding ourselves sort of why we're all here. So why on the apps side, we're actually building these features and why on the customer side of the equation, you're investing in us by using the platform and taking the time to listen to what we're up to. So a bit about the, a bit about the why. So you'll all know that Yapster is a secure mobile messaging product designed for, for frontline organizations, for frontline people. What um, might not be so obvious, so those of you that are busy running, running businesses and delighting customers, is that the market that you're in is one of the most important markets in the world. And it's a market that has been actually largely forgotten by the, um, by the first 30 years of the business software revolution. So there are 3 billion working people in the world and 2 billion of those 3 billion don't work at desks, they're frontline workers, um, particularly in the sectors that we specialize in. So retail, hospitality and supply chain, um, all of the workers pretty much like 95% of frontline workers. And of those 80% of people working in the, the customer organizations that, that we serve typically don't have a company email address. So this is the backdrop to sort of Yapster's why and oftentimes why you've brought us into your organizations to begin with. So when 80% of people don't have corporate software or often corporate hardware, that creates all sorts of um, strange situations that maybe don't apply in the, in the conventional office-based world. But it's given us the opportunity as a group, both on the technology side and on your side, on the leader side, to genuinely innovate and make a material difference to our colleagues' lives and the, uh, the businesses that we, that we run. Um, look at this stat on the screen. 86% of employees, this isn't just in the frontline the front world, this is in the economy generally. 86% of employees blame poor communication for workplace failures. Now, it's really not that surprising. If you think about it in your own business, Whenever anything goes wrong, it can typically be for one of three reasons. So ignoring global pandemics, let's hope we're not going to face that again. You've either hired the wrong people or you've implemented the wrong strategy or you've hired the right people with the right strategy, which is ordinarily the case. And something's just gone wrong because of a basic miscommunication. That is everybody's lived experience of working. And of course, in nowhere is that more chronic than in the frontline economy because we're so often working without the tools that other businesses in other sectors get to take for granted. So that's sort of the setup. That's why we started Japster and that's why so many of you have given us the chance to come and work for your businesses because actually there was this gaping void in the technology infrastructure that we needed to fill from a technology perspective and you've needed to fill from a, a leadership engagement perspective. What we found is that by putting inclusive all staff communication software into your businesses, you've been able to make really, really significant impacts on people's working lives and on the performances of your businesses. Um, we call it social leadership. So we're a social leadership platform. That's a mix of um, social media, chat, social sharing, and conventional business leadership and communications. Now, I won't spend too long on this, but it's worth, it's worth dwelling on. Social leadership, we believe, is the next stage in a long history of leadership evolution. Each time the primary technology that underpins society has changed, so has the dominant type of leader for that era. So if you look here, you've got the age of public speaking. We jumped forward and we had the advent of the printing press. Uh, I love this image because I love the film The King's Speech. Many of you will have seen it and you've heard me tell this story before. The King's Speech is all about 
that period in history where society moved from solely relying on the press release to expecting to hear leaders communicate with them through radio. And of course, the king of the time in the king's speech had a stutter. So he was not particularly naturally predisposed, uh, predisposed to being able to, to communicate by radio, but he recognized that he had to be able, he had to embrace the new communication technology in order to be able to compete when the stakes couldn't be higher in a war situation. You jump forward to the, uh, the invention and the mass adoption of color television. And what happens? We get our first movie star president, the leader of the free world. Why? Because he's uniquely confident at presenting to people, speaking into a camera like I am now, but obviously with much greater style, and making, people, making voters feel comfortable in their own living rooms. Forgive the siren in the background as a fire station beneath the office. So Reagan was fantastic at making people feel great in their living rooms and that persuaded them to vote for him. He effectively outcompeted rivals that weren't as comfortable on camera. Now time is short, so I won't dwell on what social media has clearly done to modern political discourse in recent years. Um, but then jumping forward, the last point there is the, the, the mass adoption of the smartphone has completely changed the game. Like that's not going away. All of our colleagues now have smartphones in their pockets and leaders that decide to embrace that software, the hardware and the software that companies like Yapster are building to sit on those devices are getting a competitive advantage over rivals. So that's why we exist. That's what Yapster is all about. And everything that we do every quarter to develop new features is built on that assumption that we're a social leadership platform and you, the Yapster user community, are a growing group of social leaders that are using the mass adoption of smartphone hardware and our software to change your competitive landscape, to um, engage people, align and inspire workforces, and frankly, outcompete your rivals in a difficult economy. So what does a social leader look like? Now I'm gonna embarrass Neil Seba uh, of Tost, and I'm actually gonna embarrass some more of you on the next slide. Um, Claire McCotter, who runs Business Insights for Yaps, has developed what we're teasing her internally with um, by calling it the McCotter Index. She's basically developed an algorithm with our engineering team to to consolidate all of the activities that leaders perform within Yapster to come up with a single influence score, a single metric that helps us understand how you're using Yapster from broadcasting to commenting and reacting to direct messaging and group messaging to align and inspire your people practicing social leadership through the platform. And Neil came to the top in January when we looked at that, um, that index with a, an influence score of uh, 0.707. So what does Neil do in the platform? Well, a lot of what he does will feel familiar to, to all of you. He perhaps does it just slightly more consistently and then also supplements it with fantastic commenting on other people's news feeds, direct messaging and group messaging. So if we just go left, left to right, on the left, Neil, speaking to camera, giving an operational update to, um, to the team at Tost. You look in the middle, he's doing social recognition, which so many of you do so well. And then finally, um, celebrating the good causes that TOS support. And again, so many of you and your businesses have done amazing things, particularly through this lockdown, supporting charities and going well above and beyond what anybody would have expected you in some pretty hard times. All of that goes to underpin the company's sort of cultural promise. Um, and clearly, as we've seen in the data, that does drive engagement. And um, we've been very proud to associate with Neil and the many... Uh, others of you who have similarly stepped up when it would have been easy to hide and not communicate with colleagues to um, exercise your influence. So Wendy and Marriott Bartlett Mitchell, the catering company, have been fantastic, particularly, and Wendy's very, very good at commenting on frontline colleagues' um, news posts. Her number of comments is, is off the charts compared to most. Anne-Marie and Tim at Gusto uh, launched in the second lockdown, have been fantastic as well. James, the director at Marais, similarly, and then Emily also at TOS, the HR director there. We did a round table on video the last week, which we're publishing soon, where they each shared their social leadership stories, techniques, um, and experiences, which I, I think many of you will find interesting when we push that out. Um, so do look out for that. And I'm really thrilled to shout out those individuals so that we're beginning to put faces and stories to this idea of social leadership, which is frankly what motivates us to keep delivering these features. Last point before I get on to actually doing the showcase, um, social leadership, sounds a bit new age we know but it's not so often fluffy it's not about just sort of patting people on the head and making people feel good um 
social leadership delivers numbers. You know, leadership is communications. Leadership is about delivering a business plan. You can do that in a kind way. You can do that still whilst having fun. But it's ultimately about getting large groups of people to believe in your vision and execute your plan. And that ultimately is how you make the numbers. That's how you deliver business plans, even in tough times. So you can read the, uh, you can read the quotes on screen there to get a feel for how social leadership, when practiced well, of course, through Yapster, um, really does hit the bottom line in some seriously meaningful ways. And of course, what it does is it gives us the confidence to continue to invest in the platform, subject to your requests, to deliver the features and enrich the platform to enable you to exercise your leadership visions and have the impact that you want to have more consistently, um, more impactfully through our platform. Right, so that's enough background for me. Let's get on to this new feature, these new features that we're excited to tell you about. So let's start by just doing a really, really quick quick recap um, on some nice touches to the newsfeed update date that went out just at the turn of the year. So those of you that are regular newsfeed posters will have noticed a more user-friendly preview when curating your, uh, your posts. So although content is displayed on a linear timeline, once your setup of newsfeed v2 is complete, your teams can benefit now from a multi-timeline experience. So that means that rather than all newsfeed posts being shared across the organization as a whole, with the right permissions, you can now post your updates directly to the area of the business where it's most relevant, whether that's on a site level, region, or brand. Um, you'll see in this example that I'm just putting up on screen now that this post is headed for the team at Cardiff. Um, and we can be flexible in the setup of multi-timeline for your organization, depending on whether you'd like this for brands uh, or based on specific hierarchy. So if you get in touch with our guide dog team, you can access the guide dog team at any time through the help app um, on your apps tab of Yapster, or you can email support.yapster.info if you prefer. Or you can yap or email me and I'll loop them, loop them in. Uh, and they'll help you with scoping your, um, uh, your news feed so that you can benefit from multi-timeline. So now let's talk about some extras in the news feed that we're delighted to, um, to unveil this week. So I'm really, really pleased to have seen so many of you using announcements so effectively to distribute re uh, regular updates across your organizations. You'll have noticed that the top of your screens uh, on Newsfeed now holds a few extra tabs. So your announcement tab works as a clever filter, which when, uh, when clicked reveals a complete log of previous announcement posts, both read and uh, unread, meaning your teams will always be able to refer back to important company news. A reminder of the behavior of announcements posts, um, just for a minute. So a push notification when you send an announcement is sent to all team members in Yapster and your organization, regardless of their notification settings. Because when you send announcements, you really are trying to catch people's attention. Um, and then the orange animated icon will continue to pulse on the screen until it's dismissed, which acts as an acknowledgement of, uh, of red receipts. And then as ever, you know that we're um, data obsessed at Yapster because while social leadership is all about being authentic and natural, the effectiveness of social leadership is always measured in, in numbers, in data. Uh, and, and so we continue to invest in, in our dashboards and you will be able to see individual announcement dashboards um, available as a post author within weeks. Okay, so that's newsfeed. Now let's talk properly about notifications. Um, we've completely revamped notifications for this release. So I'm just going to pull up some images on the screen now. So look, what's a push notification? Push notifications are designed to do exactly what it sounds like, to push you to interact with the content directed at you. Um, when I say we've completely revamped ours, what I mean is we, um, we now send a push notification to your lock screen for every message you receive, whether you are in a group or a private yap. Um, and also through to like how notifications are displayed. Again, if you look up on the screen, you'll see that we now mimic similar consumer app behavior by stacking and grouping notifications. What we've done away with is when we first started Yapster, we actually, in group conversations, we used to just send a notification saying you've got unread messages in insert name of group chat because we didn't want to overwhelm colleagues with a persistent flow of notifications in a busy group conversation. But the overwhelming feedback that came from you was that actually you do want to see the text that's in a group conversation, if for no other reason than to decide if you want to open that conversation to respond. It was, it, we were trying to protect you, but it was irritating for you to open the app to see what content was in a, note, uh, was in a chat to realize that you actually didn't need to respond there and then. And we've just taken, you know, we've just distracted you and taken a minute of your time to go in and, and look. 
So um, we're really excited about this. We've been using it internally for a while and it's made a big difference to us. We like it. Um, also, you'll see from the notifications here that we, um, we now display message content along with the indicators for media, such as images, videos, or PDFs. All right, so let's move on to another feature that you can tell I'm excited today, that I'm excited about, which is the view counts on news. So when we show you the new news feed, or the new new news feed, um, you'll notice two things. So firstly, Yapster now records the post view count. So this is denoted by the eye icon sitting under news feed reactions. We realize it can be really disheartening to, um, to not get the engagement you were expecting in terms of hearts or applause. So sort of active emoji responses to news feed content. Um, but we, because we can see in the data, we needed to show you that so often your posts, even if you've got relatively few likes, are actually getting enormous readership and engagement. So, um, so the view count on the eye now will, um, will show you how many people have actually viewed your post. And then you can work out likes as a proportion of total views. And then if I click on the other feature that I'm really excited about, um, sounds like a small thing, but I actually think it's gonna make a big difference, is we've changed the reactions on the newsfeed and in apps. So you can now use thumbs up and thumbs down when uh, reacting. And we think this is gonna make a really big difference when you're having a conversation and you just wanna say to people, sort of, what do you think of this? Shall we do this? Like, should we go or no go? And people will be able to just thumbs up or thumbs down really quickly to enable you to, again, be great social leaders, but actually deliver business plans by um, executing more quickly, being more resp responsive as an organization. So there's a lot there, even though I've gone through it very quickly, but those are the major sort of temple elements of the new release. Now there's more to come, not in the app update that you've just had go to your phones, but it will come very quickly hereafter. So one thing that we, we didn't want to delay the release. So um, one thing that we weren't able to get into the release that you have in your hands now, was a feature that we're calling conversation multi-admin. So uh, this new feature will allow you to assign multiple users as an admin in a conversation where you are the owner. Um, this gives those individuals the relevant permissions to change conversation settings, such as uh, whether or not you're broadcasting to your teams. You can change conversation title, image, or um, add and remove participants. We notice that bottlenecks can occur easily if only one of your team has the ownership of a conversation and then and the admin burden that goes along with that. And that's something that we think we can address. So um, the team are hard at work finalizing this and you should have access within the next couple of weeks. Um, this will be published as a point release, meaning that you won't have to update your app again. And then once this is live, we'll include guides and best practice in our monthly newsletters so you can make most of the new functionality. As always, we'll be including many bug, bug fixes and system improvements as we can um, in the next point release. And then um, excitingly for me, we've got the, the next product uh, showcase on the 14th of May. So on the 14th of May, we'll be um, unveiling a new module that we're really excited about. Some of you have been um, beta testing. Marsden's in particular have very kindly um, gone on the record with some of the results. It's KPI gamification. So we developed that with Marsden's. We've got a handful of other organizations that are beginning to try that now, where we effectively use the Yapster messaging interface to import sales data to create site versus site competitive chats where the KPI data is being presented as effectively as a scoreboard. So that's what we're going to be working on over the next 12 weeks, and we'll present that to you on the 14th of May. If you want to get a sneak preview and maybe run some beta tests with those other customers, then um, drop me a yap or an email, and we'll see if we can get you in. There is a bit of a queue and we've got some engineering work to do to um, map the way that your sales data comes or other data comes into us to our game generation engine. But um, we're very excited about it. So if you are interested, let us know. We'll follow up after this call with a um, hopefully the recording of this presentation if you want to share it with colleagues, but also with um, uh, hold the date for the next product showcase on the 14th of May where we unveil KPI gamification and whatever ancillary improvements my engineering colleagues are able to delight us with. Now, um, we're ahead of schedule on time. So it's it's 1.21 now. Um, please uh, use the chat bar to ask any questions if you, if you have them. But while I'm just um, collecting questions, I'm just gonna show you just a couple more things seeing as we do have the time, because outside of the product, there's also been a lot of change and improvement in the App Store that we're excited about that it would be remiss not to let, not to let you know about. 
All right, so um, we have been investing very, very heavily in data analytics over the last year, as I mentioned, and it's it, most of that work gets expressed as dashboards. So some of our longer standing customers, I'm sorry to say you didn't get the benefit of launch dashboards as newer customers now do, um, but I'm sure you, you'll all agree that it would have been helpful to know in that crucial first 30 days, where are you tracking and onboarding active, interactive versus the, the, the wider yaps to customer community? Because I know quite a lot of you, whether you're new customers or old, long-standing customers, I won't say older, um, do feel some anxiety sometimes around whether your onboarding is below your peers. So these new launch dashboards let you know whether you genuinely are below the average or if you're actually soaring well above and you're just still, your colleagues just still need a bit more time to get involved. Hopefully all of you will have seen the administrative dashboard for the um, for core platform success um, metrics post launch. If you haven't, again, please yap me, email me, whatever you need to do to let us know and we will make sure you get those permissions turned on because this is critically important for checking the health of your network, making sure that your social leadership efforts are yielding the benefits that you deserve, but also that your colleagues, other influencers in your business are doing what they need to do in order to deliver your vision. Um, we know from so many of the most successful customers we've got, this stuff really works. Yapster isn't the perfect product, but it really does work um, if you do the right things with it. And so these dashboards allow you to have that conversation with colleagues if you think that there's more in the tank of your organization from a social leadership perspective. Um, I hope all of you also, as well as using the dashboards, have had some experience of interacting with our guide dog team. That's the that's the, the team at Yapster that um, create the, the help guides at um, uh, guide.yapster.dog. You can also access it from our website, yapster.info. Um, and also we'll typically pick up the support tickets if you write to me and CC the guide dog team support at yapster.info with any sort of queries. They'll come back and answer and help you much quicker than I necessarily could. And they'll also often write up the answer they gave you so that other customers get the benefit of um, the conversation we've just had. Now, what we're seeing is that that genuinely is not, it's not just making our lives easier. It's not about that. It's about making your lives easier. And we can see in numbers that it's making a difference. So um, self-serve um, articles actually help our frontline colleagues get answers more quickly when they have issues that otherwise they might send to perhaps the people on this call as administrators or to, to us as faces of the appster. And we can see in data that our inbound support tickets have gone down very, very drastically on the same user base. So something seems to be working. Now we don't want to take that for granted. So you will have also seen that we do 90, uh, 30 day um, in-app satisfaction surveys to make sure we're being really honest with ourselves about whether colleagues give us one or five stars or somewhere in between. You're always welcome to see your um, colleague satisfaction scores with Yapster. If they're low, we'll work with you to get them higher. If they're high, then we'll be greedy and work with you to get them higher still. But either way, we don't want to hide from those metrics. Social leadership is about being authentic it's about being honest and generally in our experience colleagues are reasonable they, they work in industries where things are tough at times they're hard charging roles and they know that um, the measure of somebody the measure of a colleague or a supplier or a partner is not nothing ever going wrong it's them caring enough to fix it and being accessible and responsive about fixing it so um, please don't shy away from those metrics we don't and you'll see that we practice social leadership, a version of social leadership in our own platform in response to the satisfaction scores by reaching out to every user on Yapster, um, typically from my profile, where we say, hey, look, we saw what you scored us, what can we do to, to be better? Um, whilst those outbound messages are automated, I get every single reply and will we'll respond when colleagues come back to us. So we're doing our very best to practice what we preach. I hope that's helpful in terms of a sort of four or five minute update on the the behind the scenes movement at Yapster, and I hope it aligns with what you expect of us and um, gives you a sense of the direction of travel that we are on. So with that, that's my second thank you. I hope to see all of you on the 14th of May. Really excited to hear your, um, your feedback on these new features. As I say, we're very excited, but this is the beginning, not the end. So um, please keep the ideas coming. We do rely on your ideas to be able to um, to continue to come up with decent features. It's much, it's helpful when, when you get innovation ideas from the whole user community rather than just those of us working in the business. 
So I've just had one question coming in and please, if you have any other questions, please do feel free to ask them. Um, do we have any update view on allowing desktop users to have a wider view, ideally via a toggle? Um, that is something that we, we agree would be a good idea. Um, those of you that don't know what this question relates to, in a recent update, we, um, we changed the desktop version of Yapster so that it, it um, fixed the, the way that the Yapster, um, the Yapster app is presented on the browser. So of course, a mobile is a narrow experience and the browser is a much wider experience. And pre originally, we stretched the Yapster interface to, to fit the width of the browser, although it was the same design as a mobile app otherwise. And then some people thought that was a bit weird because it meant that then images were stretched in ways that look different to on phone. But it turns out quite a lot of you actually needed the wider view on um, for desktop usage, particularly when you're working in central roles, because it enabled you to see more text when you're responding and the like. So we've taken that feedback seriously. And the toggle, um, my understanding is the toggle is going to come in. Um, I don't know if it will be in the 14th of May release sooner or later, but we'll follow up in our newsletter at the end of the month and confirm either way um, and advise. So thank you for that question. Do we have any others? We've got two minutes before the end of the scheduled call. So I'll just give it a few seconds and if not, we'll wrap up there. Okay, right, I can see a few yaps buzzing on my phone. So I think we've got a few shy folks that would rather yap me than, than ask questions on Zoom. We will come back um, either in this uh, end of month newsletter or the next one, consolidating the questions that we were asked as a result of this showcase um, event and uh, yeah we'll share those responses with the whole user community so thank you so much for your time thank you for continuing to use Yapster I hope you're excited about the features and I can't wait to show you the uh, the next wave on the 14th of, um, of the next month uh, of the next quarter see you later everybody thanks <laughs>